I can explain. So, Jan, did you know I discovered this on the interwebs? I did. And how much do I love it thus far? And I adore it. Why do you, why, why do you like it? It helps me Here at the Ginchy yes, we're all about improving um, our lives and making them more efficient, easier, um, overall increasing the quality of life for everyone, but particularly for people with disabilities. So, you know, from time to time we talk about products and I found one that's been pretty life-changing because when I get into bed, and I don't have a lot of movement in my neck to be able to adjust. My hair gets all in my face, and especially since I'm a side, side sleeper, it's late, guys, okay? We're like filming very late. This is like real time, man. We're about to go to sleep. We made this video for you, okay? Yeah, and you're taking, you're cutting into our sleepy time. Yeah. But yeah. you're welcome. When I'm sleeping on the side and I'm not able to move my neck very well, I have to get positioned. And and what ends up happening is the hair gets all against my face, uh, and it's prickly. Like I have very thick hair, and with the gray hair, it's kind of like coarse. So it it it's it itches and it's very bothersome. And what what ends up happening is I have to ask for for adjustments and you have to explain that. Okay, can you lift the head, you know, from behind, lift it up a little bit and it gets really awkward. So I kept thinking like, well, how am I going to find something that could stay on my head that would contain all this hair and would work? And I think I found it. I have a big head, okay? So I knew I needed something that would be stretchy, but then I also needed something that would, that I would be able to put on myself. And it's proven to be pretty easy. Now, this is a product by the brand Kitsch. Um, the Kitsch Sleep Beanie. Satin lined sleep beanie. They're not the most breathable materials that they're made out of because this is basically polyester. There are other brands out there and there's one in particular that I have my eye on, but I don't see the same uh, set up. I don't think it's, it's in the same shape. So I don't know if it's gonna fit my big head, but it's another brand, but it's made out of pure silk. Okay, stay with this, Dan. It's made out of pure silk, and that, of course, is a natural fiber or a natural material, and there's more breathability, and of course, they talk about all these other wonderful benefits to the hair and skin, which I don't know so much if it's true. So we wash it on delicate. You, you can't put it in the dryer. I mean, it's a sensitive um, material, and it's probably gonna be even worse with the silk one. And of course the silk one is like three times more expensive. This one I think is $22 US. So I'm going to demonstrate how I get this on because maybe you too can do the same. And if you're encountering the same problems or simply you have unruly hair that you want to get tied up and have it out of your way during a night of sleep, this is for you too, okay? This is not just about people who have, you know, physical limitations. Okay, so let's get started. You ready, Dan? Yes, yeah. So I, I put the ruching in the front where my forehead is. So I make sure that that's as centered to my forehead. And then there's a tag. So, I, and then it has like this silky lining. It's really, I mean, like, and it's very stretchy. And what I do is I come up to the kitchen counter 
which is high so that I can raise my elbows. I'll show you. See, my elbows are propped up because I can't lift my, my arm over my head. Because you're a tremor thing. Yeah. Yeah. So then what I do, I have my elbows propped, I got I got the alignment right. I I take the like silky part seam where it, it meets the the jersey type material and then I hold it on those side and then I go and then I bend down. Sometimes this happens, which is nothing to panic about, um, but I just Okay, one second. I just kind of push up. Yes. Yeah, some people I've heard like use it as an eye mask. That would make me nervous because I wouldn't be worried that it would like slip over my nose. And yes. but it just it just shows you like how much material is in here. So if you have longer hair than I do, you could probably use this beanie. I'm telling you guys, like, cause there's space. At the top of my head, and my head is huge. So if you have a big ass forehead and a big head, this is for you. I get the forehead part, the front of the head straight, and then I start to pull down on the sides. And then I start to like tuck the hair because my hair is too short yet to put in a ponytail. But that I wouldn't be able to do anyway, so on my own. And then I keep the ears in, which has been working really well because that's another struggle. My ear cartilage gets very sensitized. And a latex pillow from Kayichi uh, no. with a hole, right? Yeah, yeah well, it doesn't come with a hole, but I, we, we like, yeah. I made the assistants cut out a hole, okay, just for my ear on my left side because that's how sensitized the cartilage you got. Um, yeah. But this might work because I'm covering them and they're, it, it's just very soft. So it's all on. I probably would push this up a little bit more just so that, you know, my, more of my skin is exposed and is not. the rest of our evening and it's already like way past the time we intended to go to sleep so we gotta go to sleep now but now I'm ready and yeah. now my hair won't be prickly and in my face and in my eye and it's huge guys like this is these are one of the products one of the types of products that compel us to make videos like this for you so if you're encountering similar problems or if you just want a, a, a sleep cap that will preserve your hairdo or whatever you got going on with your hair, consider this, consider it. It's pretty cool. All right, until next time, folks. Nighty night, keep it gangy. Wow. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, okay? All right, thanks.